So I've been receiving a lot of comments and a lot of questions as well on my last uh, videos that I've posted regarding moving to Dubai, regarding living in Dubai, regarding people who are in Canada and moving to Dubai. Similarly, people who are living in Dubai, moving to Canada. So many uh, of that kind of uh, topics that we have discussed in last few videos, not only videos actually, I posted a few podcasts as well with my friends who were actually uh, residents of Dubai and now moved to Canada or US and a few people who were uh, residents of Dubai moved to Canada and now coming back to Dubai. So there were uh, multiple podcasts and videos that I have posted recently on them. Uh, I've seen a few comments uh, which I thought that why don't I just uh, uh, reply to those comments. Moreover, things have changed uh, recently in, in the UAE as well. Things have become expensive. The factors that you guys are moving from, let's say Canada or the UK uh, are happening here as well. It's expensive here, but of course not to that extent, but it is expensive. But many things are positive as well. If you we talk about cost of living, it's still cheaper than uh, most of those countries that we, uh, we already talked about. There are pros and cons, of course, this is what we are going to discuss in this video. So just to give you an introduction, if you're new to this channel, I talk about personal finance, I talk about productivity, I've got an, another channel which is in Urdu language as well, you can go check that out. It's, it's much grown than this uh, one. I try to post one video a week on this uh, channel as well. Uh, we talk about, as I said, uh, personal finance productivity as well as sometimes immigration, uh, moving from here to there uh, because Dubai is a hub. At, I, I'm based in Dubai. I'm a long-term resident here in Dubai. I have a golden visa as well. So I have my biases towards Dubai, of course. In this video, I'll try to set aside my biases and talk in general perspective for normal people. So here's one of the comment that actually I have received. It's not a question, but it's a comment. The comment just says that 33 years and 75,000 dirhams of salary. And similar comment was also there uh, pointing towards Pakistan or different other countries where you can be younger as well as having not, um, not a Western passport, but still having very good salary like 73,000 dirhams is not a small salary. It's a good salary. So I just want to clear things up for people that it's not only your passport uh, or the age which matters uh, once it comes to salary or once once it comes to your income. When I talk about uh, personal finance, when I talk about income on this channel, there are ways that you can earn a lot. Even if someone is a 30, they can earn more than someone who is at 50. So age is just a number when it comes to income. And also passport doesn't guarantee you to land in a good job here in Dubai because I've seen a lot of people from South Asia are uh, being managers for people who are from West. So it is possible now because Dubai is very competitive now. The gone are the days when people are hired just because of the passport. Yes. Uh, being a passport holder gives you edge in terms of traveling. So in, in case, uh, where extensive traveling is required and set of technical expertise are required probably western passport help because then the uh, the power of passport comes in and you don't have to apply for uh, multiple visas all the time but in other cases if your technical expertise are good enough for for the job then you don't have to have a, a western passport just to get good job so this comment and the other comment about the age as well as the passport becomes irrelevant. Now another question or actually comment was what stupidity is that you live your life in misery and then when when you are in 50, 60 you will take money out and enjoy it in that way. So basically this question is from my own niche which is personal finance and he's talking about miseries because we've talked about those miseries in, in one of the podcasts and I asked him in, in the same uh, comment that he has mentioned that what kind of miseries he's talking about. If the misery is uh, not buying the car that you cannot afford then of course that is a misery for some but some for some people that is independence because I don't want any liability on me when I let's say uh, need actually the money and I would be just paying for my miseries which is let's say a car because one should only buy a car when they can afford it because there is a good formula around it which is 24 and 10 now 20 is basically 20% of minimum down payment that you have to do while you are going for the car Four is basically the maximum amount of years that should be um, financed, the, the car should be financed at. And 10 is the uh, the percentage, the monthly uh, incomes percentage, 10% of the monthly income you should only be paying towards the car installment. So these are the things that are very important while you are uh, going for a car. And then this guy who is talking about miseries, he's talking about 
uh, basically the car that he wants to buy at the time when he can buy but whatever you want to buy and you can buy it's not that you can afford that as well affordability comes with formulas that we've talked about so it's simple as that you don't want to forgo your independence just because you want something there is another comment about uh, australians this is underneath the video about canada they mentioned that australians have similar tax benefit and income generating platforms you should also interview with an australian and this is what we are planning for i'm planning for a podcast with someone from australia and someone from canada as well as myself so we can have three perspective this podcast will be soon short it's already under planning and it would be coming in this channel maybe in a in a month's time now there is a comment a nice comment from someone um, that that i know as well when one leaves that luxuries of dubai which is temporary for sure canada would seem like a downgrade but i guess once one settle they do get somewhere before they can fulfill citizenship requirement then one can move elsewhere with better benefits those who cannot sustain tend to come back or what we call reverse immigration so basically what he means to say is that a passport is important and once citizenship requirement is done maybe you can come back to dubai and uh, definitely it feels like a downgrade this was on on the response i asked one of my friend on the podcast how is moving from dubai to canada uh, seems to be look like at that time so he said downgrade downgrade is a word that he used so this gentleman uh, referred to that particular uh, phrase that uh, was mentioned in that podcast so definitely it's a downgrade but you can come back whenever you want to but once you come out of your 9 to 5 mindset passport become sometimes irrelevant as well because then you have enough money to sustain and you can travel on your will as well now this is very important question i have been in canada since i was young boy i am a canadian citizen of course i have i and my wife both citizens have been thinking to move to dubai we own a house and all thinking of selling everything and moving to dubai we do not have kids and no plans of kids personal choice i have been working for multinational firms as an it professional as your system admin here in canada my wife her uh, has her own hair salon for uh, ladies we are co seriously considering wrapping up and leaving we are tired of high taxes and culture here i appreciate any advice or ideas in dubai is it worth it uh, especially as a canadian citizen as uh, are there opportunities there can i open ladies salon uh business there um, what is better sharjah dubai or abu dhabi my wife is of lebanese descent and speaks fluent arabic as well as he mentioned that uh, he is not uh, at ease in canada because of high taxes because of high cost of living but at the same time what options do you have in dubai like you have to plan your move to dubai uh, properly uh, are you just planning and thinking that uh, coming to dubai would be easy you just land and you just find a find a house and you will start doing the business so it's not that easy because it's easier to set up the business but then you have to uh, understand the market if let's say you you are planning for the saloon uh, are you planning for the saloon in sharjah abu dhabi dubai this you have to plan are there any relatives that uh, you have here are there any friends that uh, are here are you yourself going to do any job because um 9 to 5 job is important if you have been doing 9 to 5 job you cannot just switch to business and come to a new country and just start doing the business maybe you can start consultancy maybe you can start any any other business but you have to think over it um, dubai is expensive um, just imagine uh, buying a license for a one for for one year would cost you around 15000 dirhams then uh, cost of your visas as well um uh, there is a chance of golden visa but then you have to spend a lot of uh, money in case in, in terms of your property 2000 uh, 2 million dirhams of property needs to be uh, purchased if you want to get a golden visa but this golden visa doesn't allow you to directly work you have to get the work permit or you you need to have this uh, uh, business license and those kind of things sorted out just to, to just to work here apart from your golden visa golden visa is good for traveling let's say golden visa is good for if you are staying in this country and doing a freelance work not generating income within this country uh, this country uae is very good for someone who is already making good money and he, they want to switch to a tax efficient country which is let's say uh, the uae if you have income coming from outside they would not be charging uh, any tax uh, here in this country so uh, living here is very good the medical is very good but then it's expensive you have to buy insurance as well and then um, if you don't have any kids but for someone who's moving uh, with kids they have to understand that there is no free education here you have to pay for the schools here but at the same time i would say 
there are people who who have different beliefs in the west and they they are already paying a lot in terms of uh, schooling uh, abroad because they don't want actually their children to go to public schools so at that point they will be paying um, any amount let's say xyz uh, there in the western countries if they are moving to dubai of course they will be paying similar kind of uh, amount here as well actually more maybe because schools are not cheap here uh, you can find cheaper schools from 6000 dirhams per year to let's say 100000 110000 120000 100, dirhams per year as well and then the buses as well uh, the school bus is expensive i, I will I, i'm thinking to make a separate video on cost of living in here in dubai uh, let me know if you want to uh, watch uh, that kind of video so in short it's not easy for everyone to come over dubai and settle here because we've seen a lot of success stories uh, such success stories which uh, which gives a wrong impression to the masses there is another uh, comment which says not everyone is moving from canada to dubai lots of uh, moving from dubai to other countries as well a reason mostly it is too hot and people stays indoor very expensive no nationality and it's true uh, racial discrimination uh, lots of benefit for locals but not the same for immigrants Uh, yes there are no taxes but then you make uh, th then they make you spend money rents are now very high education is very expensive no good units remote working not allowed and a long, long list so there are a lot of uh, cliched uh, uh, phrases that i have seen in this uh, comment so i don't want to comment on all of them but i would tell you something that uh, almost 8 months in dubai there is a bearable weather so until let's say april end even right now if you go out there is no problem starting let's say november there is no problem so november december january february march april even may so almost 7 months uh, there is not a big issue of the uh, the hot weather the hot weather maybe starts uh, at its peak from june until let's say october so in du during that time it's really hot and you might not be able to um, go outside in the noon time or afternoon time but evenings are not that bad sometimes it's humid but not that bad so Yes, uh, weather is a problem, but then weather is a problem in Canada as well. So it all depends on the personal preferences. You want snow or you want hot weather. I think hot weather is much better if you have indoor environment which uh, which supports the air conditioning. The air conditioning is very good. Everywhere you go, you will find uh, indoors um, with 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 the good climate control. So there is no issue in that. And then racial discrimination, I don't think so. In this day and age of two thousand twenty four, there is a racial discrimination fine. Uh, you you will find here yes there are some pockets but uh, then there you will find those kind of racial discrimination elsewhere as well yes citizenship is not there and this is uh, one thing which uh, somebody needs to understand but then people who are coming here are not coming for for citizenship they are coming for safety they are coming for security i can leave my car unlocked all day uh, all day all night uh, outside with uh, public visibility of my laptop bag and everything here in dubai but you cannot do the same in canada i can leave my wallet on the table of uh, of a food court of a bustling mall and just to reserve my table and then i i, I will go to the restaurant bring my uh, food and then i can just uh, remove my wallet myself nobody will be picking up my wallet or my phone so this is the kind of uh, safety and security we're talking about you will not be able to uh, hear about such kind of uh, safety and security in the western world so similar kind of comment that i have received canada is an amazing country if you are doing well here some people may not have good experiences and that's the total different story overall there is no comparison between the two when you look into the bigger picture i have lived and seen both places and i have met people uh, who have moved from dubai to canada and are very happy dubai is a is like a five star hotel you just check in some of the good times and uh, and have some good times and leave it's not home so people have made the way home i have known uh, many people and many businesses as well many families living here in dubai for last 60 years uh, 50 years and they don't remorse at all they they have a uh, they have a blast of their last lifetime there is no citizenship there is no denying in that but there are golden visas uh, if you have money if you have businesses if you have mindset which is out of 9 to 5 then you definitely have a good chance here even with 9 to 5 i know many people who thrived here who made a lot of money here uh, who uh, who changed their lives who changed their families life back home as well so i feel dubai is still land of opportunities it's just that you have to 
understand uh, the norms and understand the rules of of uh, living here so that you don't just carry it away um, i i have done the podcast with behrouz as well where we talked about how he was pushed to buy a 300000 dirhams car when he d- actually didn't like uh, that car so there are traps which uh, dubai will get you into but it's up to you how disciplined you are i make several videos about personal finance productivity i made a recent video about a smart crowd this is a uh, this is a crowdfunding platform where you want to invest in the waste property and you don't have enough money you can use fractional ownership model and and buy the property here is the link to the video and then there are options you want to invest in the us stocks uh, there is a very good platform of uh, baraka which i invest through here is the link to the recent video please do let me know if you like this video and please share this video in your friends thank you